morning everybody morning 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 welcome back to my channel happy monday morning i was not sure if you guys were getting a video this morning or not but it all worked out that i got some time to record two videos for you guys we're gonna talk about this new author that i read and her book is called blood lily and then we're also going to talk about the cruel prince by holly black in a second video but I'll be probably wearing the same ensemble because you know how I do I read way more books than what you guys see and we just kind of put the, the videos out as we get to them every week you may hear some dog noises today the house is empty my daughter my husband they went on a camping trip which is how I ended up with time to do these videos the week before leaving for Disney and the dogs are just losing their mind. They don't know what to do without my husband and my daughter here. So, <clears throat> with all that being said, let's jump right into our review of Blood Lily. <clears throat> okay, we got the coffee. Gotta have that. It is a French vanilla latte today. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's really hot, so I just made it. Like, it was set up light, set up camera, pick the coffee up off the Keurig. So, <clears throat> it's still tasty warm. But, we're talking about Jenny Black's Blood Lily today. And it is a paranormal mystery thriller. And I say it's paranormal because your main character, Lilith, um, she is a forensic detective. But she is also a vampire. And her companion on this kind of journey, I guess you'd call it, um, mystery solving, is named Chance. And he is half vampire. He's like a half breed between human and vampire. And so that's kind of where the paranormal stuff comes into it, as that there are vampires involved in the story. And her uncle that she's hunting down because he's gone missing <clears throat> is also a vampire. And a lot of characters that she comes into contact with, um, you guys know I don't do spoilers, but a lot of characters that she comes into contact with are supernatural. There's one character at the end, I'm not even sure what she is yet, but we're going to find out, I'm sure, in book two. It is a to be continued, so it leaves you on a really big cliffhanger, um, but that does guarantee you that you're going to get a book two. So that's really exciting because I really enjoyed the characters and I enjoyed the character development. I enjoyed how the relationship between Lily and or Lilith and Chance developed over time. I I just really enjoyed the book. If you like um, CSI or, you know, SVU, all those type of things, but you also like vampires, this might be the book for you. I highly enjoyed it. I like a lot of vampire stuff, though. I read a lot of paranormal. As you guys know, one of my favorite series is, is the Black Dagger Brotherhood. I wouldn't necessarily compare the two, but very, very good, both of them in their own rights. So I really enjoyed Blood Lily. Um, it took me about three to four days to read because it is a lengthy book. It is not a, a novella or a short book. It is extremely you know, in depth, and you really build those characters. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm really looking forward to book two, and I am super excited and cannot wait to read it. <clears throat> but yeah, out of, like, Richter scale 1 to 10, definitely a solid 9. Like, I could not put it down at certain points. Really, really well done. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a great paranormal mystery with a lot of information in it like I like that Lilith is an, a very educated woman and she she knows her stuff because she works as a forensic detective type person <clears throat> she you know is really good at figuring out who clues looking at blood splatters you know testing things makes her more real to me I guess you could say I don't like vampire or paranormal books where it's just like, up oh, they're a vampire, up oh, this is that, and then they don't go into depth into it, they don't explain anything, they don't explain how it works. Can this person go out in the sunlight, can they not, what do they eat, what do they drink, like, do they drink blood, like, they don't explain it. But this book really went into really well depth, 
of explaining everything that makes Lilith's world work and the other vamps that she is around. So that was really excellent. And um, like I said, it starts out with her hunting for her missing uncle. Her dad um, has sent Chance, one of his bodyguards, with her to go kind of on this mission to see what happened to him because he's gone missing. And um, the body toll starts to add up and it's not looking good. I'll just leave it at that. From the beginning, it's not looking good for Uncle Duncan. So yeah, really, really enjoyed the book. Thoroughly, thoroughly encourage you reading it if you like paranormal and that kind of thing. And like I said, there's really good rapport and things built between Chance and Lilith on the trip. They have known each other for many years, apparently. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed that as well as it grew. So, 9 out of 10. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the book. I know I've said that like a bunch of times. I don't... I hate when I reuse words and I go back and I look at my vlogs or my videos and I'm like, you said this word like 72 times and thoroughly is apparently that word for this video. But I hope you guys are having a super peaceful Monday morning. I had a great weekend. I got so much productive stuff done. Oh my gracious. I mean, I got completely packed for next weekend's Disney trip. I got a bunch of cleaning done. I got a bunch of laundry done because I had to do the laundry in order to get packed. Um, just really, really happy with the amount of things that I got done. So yay me. Augusta, Georgia, allergies right now are at an all-time high. We literally had a news bulletin that was like, the pollen this week is at a yearly high. And it's like, great. So it's going to look like I'm crying for... A week now. The pollen here is awful. I've lived all over the world and I've never like had a yellow car in the spring. Here I do. My entire car is yellow. On that note, I will let you guys go because I I'm a busy little bee over here this week, and you're going to get Wednesday, your normal Sunday dinner vlog. We did like a cashew chicken, Asian-inspired evening, me and Stephanie. We just did me and Stephanie this week because the crew had already gone camping, so my husband and my daughter had already gone camping. So we were able to be a little more adventurous. We did some homemade tempura fried vegetables, which I thought turned out really nicely. Never done those before. Um, we had to make our own tempura because we couldn't find a tempura batter in the store, but I thought they turned out great. Really, really, really excited about that, and happy Monday morning, you guys. Make it an amazing week.